Hi guys, this is Clara Hudson of While They Play Designs. And on today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a knit three together. This is also referred to as a K3 tog. And if you take a look here, this stitch right here is a knit three together. And essentially what we're doing is we're taking three stitches and we're decreasing them to only one stitch. So this will decrease your stitch count by two stitches. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just going to work over to where I'm going to place my knit three together. And that's right here. You can see I've done my previous knit three together right here in my row below. And now I'm going to take these next three stitches and knit those together. So normally when you knit, you knit into the front leg of a stitch. And for a knit two together, you would knit through the front leg of both stitches on the needle. So for a knit three together, we're going to do that exact same thing. We're just going to put insert our right hand needle into the front leg of all three stitches. And I'll kind of rotate my work here so you can see we only went through the front leg of all three stitches. If we turn our work, you can see we can see the back legs of those three stitches. Those have not been worked into. Okay, so we insert our needle through all three stitches, and then we're going to yarn over our needle and pull through. So we've gathered up those three stitches from our left hand needle, knitted them together, and now they're one stitch. And you can see this just creates a right slant in your knitting. And usually in your pattern, it's going to have you make up those two stitches with probably two yarn overs, just so it doesn't change your stitch count, unless of course you are decreasing in your work. But that's how we make a knit three together. Thanks for watching.